Hey everyone, Ryan here from Tiny Image and welcome back to the channel where we share all the best tiny tips to help your Shopify store function at its best. Today's topic is something you may have experienced already. It's the dreaded 404 page caused by broken links. Let's check it out. Before we go any further, if you like the free content that we create to help your Shopify store, make sure to like the video, leave a comment below, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot guys. Let's get started. What are they and what causes them? 404 error pages appear when a web page can't be found, and this can happen for many different reasons. One common issue arises on bundle pages. When items in a bundle are removed or changed, their URLs aren't often redirected to suit. This creates a series of broken links, likely causing your customers to shop elsewhere. Another frequent offender is when products, pages, or collections are removed from your store, but the links aren't updated. App incompatibility or themes that conflict with Shopify's routing can also cause broken links to occur. Caching issues on the other hand happen when a visitor's browser cache doesn't sync with recent updates. This can often be solved by clearing the cache. Configuration issues like incorrect file permissions can also cause your spot of bother. It's also quite common with product filters. For example, if a particular size like medium is no longer available, users trying to access this filter will encounter the error page. Incorrectly formatted URLs are another common culprit. A single typo or missing letter can easily turn a functional link into a broken one. An example you might be familiar with is when a business creates a temporary sales page and once the sales end, you delete the page, but you forget to remove the link. And it's not just links either. Broken images can also lead to errors. If an image link is removed or changed, customers will see a broken image link rather than the intended content. How broken links impact your sales and your SEO. Broken links have a direct impact on your sales and your SEO. Firstly, it ruins the user experience. If a customer encounters a 404 error page, it's gonna leave them frustrated and leave you with higher bounce rates. In fact, if users have to wait more than three seconds for a page to load, it increases bounce rates by 32%. Imagine how quickly they'll leave if they see a 404 error page instead. Secondly, broken links lead to lost sales opportunities. If a user lands on a 404 error page instead of a products page, they're likely to leave and you're going to lose that sale. Fewer visitors will be able to find your site, cutting back on potential revenue. This is especially dangerous for e-commerce as it means a lower bottom line and fewer conversions. Over time, fewer visitors will be able to find your site, cutting back on potential revenue. Additionally, broken links hurt your SEO. Search engines like Google crawl your website and if they come across too many 404 errors, they'll see your website as poorly maintained, which drags down your SERP rankings. On top of that, Google has a limited number of pages it can crawl through in one session. If it's wasting time on 404 pages and broken links, it means it's got less time to index newer and more relevant pages. So what's the real cost of broken links? They diminish your brand's credibility, leave your customers frustrated, and make it harder for you to get found online. This impacts trust, user experience, sales, and ultimately, success. Fixing broken links ensures you maintain your reputation and keep those sales flowing. Detecting broken links. Finding broken links is an essential part of maintaining a healthy website. Let's explore a few different options to find and manage these issues, and of course, we'll save the best till last. Google Search Console is a free tool from Google allowing website owners to monitor their site's presence in Google search results. One of its key features is the page indexing report, helping to identify broken links. How do you find this report? First of all, log into Google Search Console, go to indexing, followed by pages and the left-hand menu. The report shows index pages that return 404 or other errors. Click on not found 404 to view a list of pages that are returning those errors. With Google Search Console, you can easily identify broken links and take the necessary steps to fix them. Web crawlers, tools like Screaming Frog, RFs, SEMrush, and many more are all popular tools that mimic search engines and crawl your website. These tools provide reports on SEO issues, including broken links, and allow you to export the data for analysis. Manual checks. You can manually review your site's menus and pages to detect broken links. In order to do this, you'll have to navigate through your entire website just like a potential customer would, or like I'm showing you now. This method can be extremely time consuming, but it does give you insight into what your customers are experiencing when they hit a broken link. The top rated solution to find broken links quickly. The tiny image extension. 
The Tiny Image Extension is a free and easy to use tool designed specifically for merchants. In just a few clicks, it scans a page you're on for broken links and provides reports on 404 errors, redirect chains, and other common issues. Here's how to use it. Firstly, install the Tiny Image Extension. Once you've done that, open the page you want to check. Navigate to the Links tab in the extension and hit Scan Status. Tiny Image will highlight any URLs returning a 404 error as well as any other problematic status codes. Things like 500, 301, 302 and many more. In this case, you can see the 301 link error has been flagged and allows you as the user to rectify it if necessary. To make things as easy as possible, check the link below for a link to the Tiny Image Extension. Now we know what they are, why they occur and how to find them, let's check out three ways to fix them. Fix manually on Shopify. After using Google Analytics or Search Console to detect broken links, you can fix them directly in Shopify. First of all, log into Shopify. For a shortcut, enter URL redirect into the search bar. Alternatively, head to the online store section and select navigation and URL redirects. All you need to do is enter the old and URL in the presented fields, and finally, click save. Tiny tip, you can also fix broken links in bulk by importing a CSV file with all the necessary redirects. To import URL redirects, open your Shopify admin panel, go to sales channels, online store, navigation, view URL redirects and click import. But fret not Shopify owners, I will include a full tutorial for your convenience in the description below. The top rated tiny solution. As usual, Tiny Image has more than one way to solve your problems automatic and manual. Let's check out the manual solution first. Once you embed the Tiny Image app on your website, open the dashboard and navigate to settings. Click broken links, set the desired frequency under receive broken links report section and hit save. From here, select improve SEO on the left and hit broken links from the main dashboard menu. All that's left to do now is enter the old URL and the new one you want to redirect to and then click save changes. Here's how the Tiny Image tool detects broken links and easily redirects them. From your Shopify admin page, select Tiny Image, followed by Improve SEO and Fix Broken Links. Now you can see an entire list of all the broken links visitors have come across. Fixing them is easy. Simply click Add Redirect. The easiest thing to do here is simply enter forward slash, which means home page. Hit Update and click the icon on the left to view the link. Okay. Let's check out the automatic solution and how to save yourself time for other areas of your business. Open the dashboard of the Tiny Image app and navigate to the Improve SEO section. Click the Fix Broken Links button. Make sure to click Add Theme Extension to enable broken link detection and check to make sure it's toggled on at the top left. Head back to the admin page and go to Settings, click Broken Links and insert the URL you'd like all your broken links to redirect to. From here, the last thing to do is click Activate. And that's it. As you can see, in just a matter of seconds, users are redirected from the broken link back to the homepage. By choosing to do things automatically and having all your broken links sent to one specific page, you're gonna save all the time and all the hassle of having to do things manually. Set, forget, enjoy. How it works. Tiny Image detects broken links when someone visits them. And once identified, it's registered in the database with the redirect feature active, the app will automatically redirect users to the designated URL. To avoid the repercussions of broken links, here are some best practices to maintaining a healthy website. Regular audits. Conduct regular website audits to check for broken links. Fix immediately. Address broken links as soon as they're discovered. Use redirects wisely. Implement redirects for any moved or deleted content to prevent broken links. Link maintenance. Periodically verify that all external links on the site lead to active, relevant pages. Utilizing Tiny Images automatic broken link solution. Well, there you have it. Fixing broken links not only improves user experience, but also enhances your site's SEO performance, resulting in better sales. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tiny tips on how to enhance your Shopify store, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep those clicks coming.